A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 20th Jan. On the front page you have, ahead of holiday, China gears up to contain virus outbreak. So China will step up its efforts to contain the coronavirus outbreak which has happened in Wuhan. So the lunar new year comes up now and before that China is keen on containing the spread of the virus. So there are 17 new cases of the virus which have been confirmed and fears have risen that the virus could spread in other countries too. And three of the new patients are now seriously ill. Then this is Indian treated for streptococcal infection. So 45 year old Indian school teacher in China's Shenzhen city has been treated for streptococcal infection. He was initially suspected to be a case of the new SARS like coronavirus infection which was reported in Wuhan. And here you have Center for Tougher Law Against Sexual Harassment at Work. So the group of ministers headed by Home Minister Amit Shah, which was constituted to strengthen the legal framework to prevent sexual harassment at workplace, has finalized its recommendation. So it will be put up for public comment now. So here you can see it was formed in October 2018. So here you can see regarding the GUM, which was reconstituted also in 2019, has been led by Home Minister Amit Shah. So, because of the re elections which took place, the government came with a new term and a new Home Minister. And this is National Crime Records Bureau 2018 chart, uh, the top five states with cases of sexual harassment at workplace. Then this is Sheikh Hasina says India's citizenship law is unnecessary. So now this is Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina who has given a view on, on the citizenship law in the country. And he sa she said that Modi has assured me that NRC will not affect our people. On page 3 you have loss of land for general public in Central Vista revamp flag. So this is Indian Institute of Architects which has objected to Delhi Development Authority's proposed changes in land use. So the Delhi Development Authority's proposed changing in land use for a part of redevelopment of Central Vista has uh, will result in potential loss of land for general public use. And this is violation of DDA's master plan of Delhi 2020. So this uh, notification came up in December 2019 and uh, now objections have been raised. So because it is self sought objections and suggestions for the land use change for 8 plots. And this is one plot which is for the construction of a new parliament too. On page 5 you have Rajasthan government to remove resolution against CAA in house. So resolution against citizenship amendment act has already been passed by Kerala government and now Congress government in Rajasthan is also planning this. So its budget session will begin on Jan 24 and this resolution is likely to be tabled on the first day itself. Then on page 8 you have Governor seeks answer from Kerala government on CAA appeal. So this is in the same context as the previous news we saw regarding Rajasthan government uh, passing a resolution against CAA. Kerala government has also already passed such a resolution and has also filed a case in the Supreme Court against the CAA. So the governor of Kerala has sought answers from the government of Kerala on this now. So the chief secretary has been given a letter in which the governor Arif Muhammad Khan quotes various rules and Supreme Court rulings that how state government cannot approach the Supreme Court on such matters. Like if a central law has to be implemented by the implemented by the state. But then we have seen earlier too there are case, Supreme Court rulings on either ways. In one ruling Supreme Court has accepted this under its original jurisdiction as a dispute between center and state and in one it has said it cannot. So, now again the case is before the Supreme Court. On page 9 you have Mumbai to get back mounted police. So Mumbai will get a mounted police unit for traffic and crowd control after 88 years now. So the unit was taking part in this year's, will be taking part in this year's Republic Day Parade at Shivaji Park. And if needed similar units will be brought in for Pune and Nagpur too. So the mounted units, horse mounted units of police was there. But it was stopped in 1932 due to growing vehicular traffic. And today also Mumbai police has modern jeeps and motorcycles. But it was felt a mounted police unit would be useful for 
crime patrol in crowded areas. So this is the main. And then below you have students launch satellites using helium balloon. So around 250 teams participate in this event and 12 payloads consisting of satellites were launched using a helium filled balloon by school students during National Space Challenge 2020 organized by National Design and Research Forum. So the launch pad was at Vellore Institute of Technology as such and the balloon is expected to reach an altitude of 20 kilometers. Then below you have 146 endangered Iravadi dolphins sighted in Chilika. So this is Chilika Lake of Odisha, the largest brackish water lake in the country. So here 146 endangered Iravadi dolphins have been sighted. So the lake is home to the highest single lagoon population of Iravadi dolphins. On the editorial page, the first editorial is needless fracas. So this is regarding governors, how they must not push boundaries of the limited powers to check elected government. So the way governments in governors in Kerala and West Bengal are you know, questioning the state governments on various steps which they are taking against Citizenship Amendment Act. So this is called needless fracas here. And then below you have bull and goal. So this is regarding Jallikattu. So Jallikattu is still dangerous to life. It has killed people and you know disabled people and uh, you know this, art, this editorial says that it is time to introduce protective gear for Jallikattu. Then uh, the lead article is a net verdict that falls short of expectations. So, so the judicial ruling on the Kashmir communication block was hardly has hardly struck a blow for the doctrine of proportionality. So this talks about the Supreme Court ruling which came on Jan 10 on the ongoing communication blockade in Kashmir Valley. So this editorial says, this article says that there is opacity in the law because the case itself arose out of union government's decision to dilute article 370 of the constitution. But then what under what documents and orders were posed that have not been revealed. The Supreme Court also ruled that those uh, orders should be made public as such so that they can be challenged as such. So the ruling did not uh, give any stern action or take a stern stand as such. It did not even say that internet uh, as, as such is a fundamental right, internet in itself. But right to freedom of speech is already there. So through internet. So, and that was not uh, that was not highlighted on, but yes, so because jobs are affected because of lack of access to internet. So, Supreme Court had taken a stand on that. It had given the doctrine of proportionality. That means that the amount of restriction which is imposed should be proportional to the requirement. But then it has not resulted in any change on the ground. Then this is equities, weak pulse, and commodified medicine. So this talks about how there is more to the systemic mooring of medical malpractices in India. So the medical malpractices are highlighted here. So with the advent of the private sector, malpractices have further increased, it is said. And healthcare providers, just like others, are molded by the social surroundings. So they also indulge in malpractices. That is from here. Then on open page you have why Make in India has failed. So this article talks about Make in India and says it is too ambitious, spectacularly ill-timed and has brought too many sectors into its fold. So it was in September 2014 that Indian government announced Make in India initiative to encourage manufacturing in India and galvanize the economy with dedicated investments in manufacturing and services. But uh, immediately after the launch, invest investment commitments worth crores were also made. But then now we see manufacturing sector has taken a significant dip. So make in India has not succeeded is evident. And the question is why did it fail? So this article talks of three reasons. That it set out two ambitious growth rates for manufacturing sector to achieve. Like a growth rate of 12 to 14 percent. Presently it's quite low we have seen. And uh, her second point it raises is the initiative brought in too many sectors into its folds. So policy focus was lost 
and uh, it was seen a policy devoid of any understanding of the comparative advantage of the domestic economy so you know, global uncertainties are also there trade protectionism is also rising now so that's why it was not the right time for making india policy to succeed and this is for brews a permanent home so we have seen how the government has taken a decision to have the this place brews in tripura to be settled there itself but then how it would lead to conflicts in the state of tripura where they are being settled is also a concern raised on page 12 you have multi state police action nets 12 terror suspects so sources in inter intelligence agencies say they were arrested in delhi bengaluru odp mumbai and ahmedabad these are terror suspects being held and this is 5 crore link bihar human chain so this is a human chain which was formed in bihar it was a state wide awareness campaign on social ills which spanned 18034 kilometers so this was to make people aware of climate change prohibition of on drinking alcohol and social ills such as dowry and child marriage so they attempted to have a record as such world record on the longest human chain then on page 13 you have this interview with former afghan president hamid karzai who says that all are persecuted in afghanistan muslims hindus sikhs and and here you have submarine launched ballistic missile tested so india successfully test fired a 3500 km lane range submarine launched ballistic missile called k4 so this was carried out by drdo from a submerged pontoon of visakhapatnam coast and this is uk navy chief seeks cooperation so observing that both india and uk are working on aircraft carriers fifth generation fighter aircraft and integrated electronic electric propulsions the uk navy chief says navy chief says it feels immensely comfortable and strategically sensible that we should look be looking to converge and come together so this is what he spoke on so further cooperation is sought as such then on international page you have libya summit seeks end to fighting so this is un led talks in berlin which took place as a bid to curb foreign interferences in libya and help restart dialogue so libya we are seeing you know, opposing factions fighting in the country and this is affecting the population there the haftar uh, you know sec section which is in opposition to the un recognized government which is the government of national accord so it is fighting against them so to stop this in fighting this summit has been held in libya uh, held for libya in berlin germany then on monday's business page has money wise coverage which is not important so you can skip this so these were the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you